Pantasy. Sounds like a pants boutique in a 1980s mall. Now is the time to save shoppers in our weekend sales of Poppin'. But no, Pantasy is a building brick company and they reached out to me to see if I had interest in their new 1990s retro computer set. Now my channel mostly focuses on 1980s and earlier, but I couldn't resist giving this set a try. After all, I do occasionally cover other building brick sets from Kobe. Oh, and there's also that little known company, Lego. Thank you to Pantasy for sending the set and with no obligation other than to post my build. Let's see if Pantasy is the building brick retro fantasy we've been looking for. We start, as always, with a box. In this case, a box that highlights the set's features. My one disappointment is there's no mention of the number of elements, however. I did do a quick search online. Looks like there's about 1,800. But let's not give too much away. Let's open the box and start organizing the bags. Time for a little building brick bag ASMR. And here's the most important part of the set, the instruction manual. Hopefully Panacy has the same level of quality as other building brick brands, with Lego, of course, being the benchmark for everyone to follow. If you excluded the Chinese language, this manual looks very familiar in style. Let's get the rest of the bags out of the box. And here are all the bags in the set, 28 in total, with numbers ranging from one to nine with three or four bags in each set. Let's start putting the set together. For each step, I'll share a time-lapse build with a clock, followed by some random thoughts. Thankfully, this set does include the all-important building brick tool, which I did use several times. The studs do not include any logos, like Lego and Kobe, and these elements have these sprue marks on the top. These are often hidden in other building brick sets. Brick connections are tight and solid. I didn't find any loose connections. At the end of bag set one, I had the base and backplate of the computer created. I really enjoyed the detail and colors chosen, but more on features at the end of the video. Spare parts bowl. Careful, this is actually an eight, and this is actually a 10. There's quite a bit of light coming between these bricks. I would have liked to have seen tighter tolerances. We'll see if this distracts from the overall build. There's some really nice details, and those are not stickers. That is stamped, which I always appreciate. With two bags complete, we have the majority of the bottom part of the case built. Extra part for bag two. Funny enough, there are three bags for part three. A little sample of the quality of the bricks. All right, here is the Pantasy Core. What are we going to call this? An i9, i7? No, this is back in the 90s. So let's say this is a 286. And now we get to put on top of that, because we'll never see it again, a heat sink. Motherboard's looking pretty cool, actually. All right, let's lock it all into place. Nice. OK, it's probably a Pentium instead of a 286 or even a 486. Dropping the motherboard into the case and locking it down is quite satisfying. One of the things I do like is it appears that every bag set tries to create something uh, or a component from the set. So for instance, uh, the very first bag, we were working on the case, the second bag and the third bag, we were kind of working on the motherboard. And now we're working in bag four on a, looks like a power supply. 
That's pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and drop this power supply into place. Time to mount the floppy brick drive bay. Okay, let's mount the CD-ROM, and that'll get mounted on top of the floppy drive bay. Extra part bag four. Looks like we're gonna finish off the top of the case as part of number five. Not only the top, but we're creating some side panels to finish out the case. All right, time to put the top on this PC. I wonder if I could fit an ITX board in this thing. Hmm. Six is complete. Looks like we have the bottom part of the monitor. front plate here, which is part of the monitor. And we've got this little thing here. I'm not quite sure what that means or is at this point, but maybe some kind of video game we're playing on the computer. We'll see as we get closer towards the end. We've got bags eight and nine to go. Extra part for bag seven. This is kind of interesting. Just for this step alone, I had to pull parts from three different bags. These were in a bag. These were in a different bag. These were in another bag. Actually, there's four bags now that I think about it, and these were in another bag. So if you're looking, thinking all these are together in a single bag, no, no, that's not the case. It's in four separate bags. Luckily, I spread everything out and I was able to find, I persevered and I found all my parts. Just kind of keep that in mind when you're putting yours together. Here's some really fun pre-printed bricks again that are going to become the back of the monitor. Those are pretty fun too. Check it out. And I think this, I think I figured out what this is. This is some kind of minesweeper. I just noticed this step. This goes in here. I was right. It is a minesweeper game, uh, but... The only negative is this is a sticker. Here's hoping I get this thing on correctly. Extra part for bag eight. And we are finally on the last bags of the set. Bags number nine. Showing you this now because I know I'll be covering this all up later, but I just love the little extra detail that this would be a PCB for the keyboard. Quite a few, well, not quite a few, four extra pieces, and it stands to reason why these are pieces you could have easily lost or might need to replace later. So there we go. There's all the extra pieces that were left, at least in my build. Your mileage may vary. And here's the last part of the build. We have the keyboard and the mouse. Now it's time to get the keyboard and the mouse connected to the actual unit. I just love this little VGA connector and it seats nicely into this faux VGA port on the back of the computer. The mouse and the keyboard include the appropriate simulated PS2 connectors to plug into the simulated PS2 ports and are even color coded properly. The back of the case includes the fan housing, ISA slot, VGA, PS2, and even the headphone, auxiliary, and microphone ports. I love the detail on this mini mouse and keyboard. The CD-ROM drive is an old school cartridge-based drive where you insert the CD-ROM into the cartridge 
and then the cartridge into the slot. And how cute is this? What I'm calling a floppy brick disk drive. When I posted a preview on X, someone commented it looked more like a zip drive. But the best part is it even includes a disk label that you can affix to the floppy disk. Details on the front include a power button, volume knob, hard drive access and power LEDs, floppy drive access, and CD volume. The monitor has brightness, menu settings controls, headphone jack, and a power button. Fantasy includes an additional double-sided card with Windows 3.1 on one side and my preferred DOS in a window on the other. I'd have preferred a plain DOS screen. I guess I could make one. Hmm. The monitor swivels left and right, but not up and down, but it does include these cool stamp badges on the back. Okay, let's break it all down and take another look at the features. We begin by removing the monitor from the top of the case. Next, we pull off the top of the case. Everything snaps off easily so we can see the inside. This will make it fun to show off to your fellow 1990s retro computer enthusiasts who will marvel at the level of detail on the inside of this building brick set. As I put this set together, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. The instructions were easy to follow, the set was fun to put together, and the resulting model is a whole heap of fun if this is your thing. And here at Retrocombs, this is our thing. Now, if we could just encourage Pantasy to create a set that's a little bit more 8-bit. I have all the links you need in the video description below, and if you have questions, leave them in the comments. And again, thanks to Pantasy for allowing me to share this early look at this set and for me to experience my first Pantasy building brick set. Be sure to check out their entire line at Pantasy.com. Thanks for watching and Retrocombs out. Oh, and by the way, check out these other great building brick set videos.